What would you do if the internet completely hijacked the narrative of your life for no apparent reason? Would you get offline and hide? Would you block all the trolls? Would you get on Instagram Live and fight? That's what today's story is about. And to start telling you that story, I need to introduce you to a gal named Afton Prater. But can he bait a hook? Can he change the tire? Can he go? Afton hails from the state of Washington, although now she lives in Nashville. And she's someone that's been on my radar for about a year because she is a posting machine on social media. She sings fairly simple songs about being a country girl and wanting a country boy and enjoying the outdoors. And I've often found her content strangely entrancing. There's something amusing and even a little bit cringy about it. She has an extremely fast cadence, an extremely earnest voice, and she sings songs with lyrics about truly anything. Do you want a song about rodeos? Afton has one for you. You're sitting on 2,000 pounds of rage, dropping in as the beast rattles the cage. Or maybe you'd rather hear a song about track and field. Afton's got one for that. 100, 200, 800 sprint, 4 by 400, you were built for it. Hammer shot, put javelin, discus, it's all in the wrist. Gymnastics? Sure. Started on the monkey bars on the playground, and in your backyard doing cartwheels all around. What about specifically being the catcher in a baseball game? Here's a song for baseball catcher. I call the shots, I strategize, I keep the game in check. Maybe sports aren't your thing. Maybe you want to hear a song about fried chicken. Well, may I present to you, thank God for chicken. I eat it in the morning, eat it for bed. The day that I stop eating it is the day that I'll be dead. Cause I like, nah, I love fried chicken. Now, not only does Afton write these types of songs that are responding to comments that people are giving her, she also promotes a lot of her own original music, stuff like Grit and Grace. She's a little bit of grit, a little bit of grace, a whole lot of haul ass, little bit of breaks. Little or Till You Find the One, about her quest for a country boy. Can he shoot a gun? Can he take you mud in? Dating a country boy girl. If Look, I can't sit here and say I like every single one of these songs as one of my favorites ever. But I mean it when I say there is something hypnotizing about Afton's content. It's got a sunny, juvenile pluck, and there's just a lot of it. In a world where so many artists can't bear to film one reel to promote their new single, Afton will film 100. And I can hear you guys saying, all right, Grady, cool, there's a lot of singers on social media, why are we sitting here talking about Afton? Well, I'm glad you asked. Last summer, sometime around July 2023, Afton had a few reels on Instagram that were really taking off. And in the comments of said reels, some very strange comments started to appear. At first, they were your run-of-the-mill generic hate comments telling Afton she couldn't sing or she was faking her accent. But as the weeks went on, these comments evolved into requests for Afton to sing about certain subjects. Whether that was wet farts or Jeffrey Epstein, or as you may have guessed from the title of this video, crack. Give us a song about crack. Give us the crack song. You should write a song about crack. The children yearn for a crack song. The earliest crack comment I could find on Afton's Instagram occurred in July, but it wasn't really till October that the crack comments became a thing. But I swear to you, if you look at any post from October to now on Afton's Instagram, the vast majority of comments you will see are asking her to sing about crack cocaine. And often not really asking, more demanding. Thousands of comments stacked up over the months telling Afton Prater, you need to sing about crack. Afton is something of a troll magnet, and her inherent perkiness perhaps makes her the perfect target for a wave of internet anarchy. Because there is no real reason that any of these comments started. Nothing in Afton's past or her family or anything like that has to do with crack. It's like a snowball that started for some reason and then never stopped rolling. She just happened to be the recipient of this internet movement. In December of last year, things ratcheted a step further. When a face-tatted content creator named Backseat Gyno made a video about noticing these crack comments on Afton's page. I'm gonna share this with y'all, and it might make this bitch more famous, which is fucking terrible, but I just wanna share this with y'all because I'm a huge fan. Not of her music. Her music's fucking insufferable. The reason why I'm such a huge fan is, and I don't know why, I don't know how this started, I don't know what the fuck it is. Every single motherfucking video, somebody is like, yo, write a song about crack. Do a crack song, do a cracks every 
freaking one. His video got over 500,000 views. It sent his audience in the direction of Afton's page, and the crack comments became even more prevalent. In fact, a whole lore formed around them, sort of a desperate audience begging Afton to release them from their yearning for a crack song. Sometimes writing long soliloquies involving Afton's own lyrics about boys that can bait a hook, and how they'd be here for her if she just gave them the crack song. Now, if you know me at all, you know I became obsessed by observing this. Niche pieces of country internet lore, whether that's where Are the Bodies with Garth Brooks, or whether Cody Wolf actually has a private jet, or my favorite triplet country band, Taylor Red. Such content has a way of roping me in. And this one was just so weird. Every week, I would navigate over to Afton's Instagram page to see if the crap comments were still happening and every week they persisted. From what I observed, Afton never responded. She would say vague things like, it doesn't hurt to be kind, or she would heart the two non-crack related comments in a sea of dozens of crack comments. You know, just the ones that said, I like this song, or you look pretty. And around Nashville, I knew more than a few people that were vaguely intrigued by what was happening over on Afton's Instagram. At a bar, someone might say, have you seen that girl Afton Prater? And someone else might respond, oh, is that the crack girl? By spring of this year, when it was clear that the crack comments were not going away, I was actually planning on going to one of Afton's shows, introducing myself and saying, hey, I think you should actually make a crack song and we should record the process of it for a video. But then Afton beat me to the punch. On April 11th, she posted a tease from a recording studio of songwriters Nick DeLeo, Kyle Austin, and Parker Daniel talking about this situation. Along with the caption, you've waited long enough, hashtag crack song. Do you guys know this girl, uh, Afton Prater? Yeah, she's the uh, she's the girl with all the comments, right? Yeah, but it keeps saying, the, write a crack song, right? Like every comment that she has is like, crack song, crack, crack, crack. Like, I think I know what we need to write today, I guess. The comments erupted. There was a general tone of, we did it, boys. And everyone from Country Central to J.R. Carroll was weighing in like, I can't believe this is actually happening. I stepped out of the shadows and unmasked myself in those comments too and said, this is historic. At which point, Afton shot me a DM and said, hey, you should come see the music video that we're shooting next week. And I said, uh, I would love to do that. And in fact, not to be creepy, I've been researching this exact storyline for like eight months and I would love to talk to you. And Afton was like, okay. So that's what I did. I headed to her producer's studio and backyard to the video shoot of the crack song. Matter. Oh, and then like, <laughs> yeah, and then it's like, here we are. It looks like post yeah, up, no. and there's some chairs we can always steal. Yeah. Afton and the writers had gathered a bunch of their friends to come together for the music video shoot, which she says was inspired by Toby Keith's Red Solo Cup. And as people were getting ready for the shoot and trickling in, Afton and I broke away to talk about this strange moment in her life. Sure, would it all be the better for this to just be between us? Instead of just me having a mic? She has one on oh, too. Oh, sweet. I, just, yeah. I, have I guess most basic question, why are you doing this? It's, I, honestly, for me, I'm like, I feel like I should kind of take advantage of the situation in a way of like, I don't know why this is happening, but because it is, the crack life chose me. I must <laughs> choose it back, I guess, and just kind of roll with it and like roll with the punches and just have the most fun that I can. Was that always your reaction to all this? Or like when you first started getting those comments, what was your feeling? My, uh, my feelings were not like that. My feelings were like, why is this happening to me? And uh, get off my videos. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would wake up and there'd be like, my whole feed, like my whole notifications would just be crack, 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 crack song, write a crack song. Even like videos of like, celebrating like my brother's birthday, anything like that, with a picture of me with like little girls. Crack, crack, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of like this has even this. It's one thing to post it on my music, like, I'm like, okay, but like to comment on like photos of my family and stuff like that was like weird. Yeah. Did you even have a sense ever of like what the origin of this even was? Maybe people are like, haha, she has high energy. Maybe she's on crack, which is like, obviously, I'm not. <laughs> but, or it could have been just people making fun of my music, just kind of saying, because what I did for a while was kind of write songs about random things. Like a lot in my TikTok, I do baseball, softball, um, just- Chicken. Fried chicken. I did my fried chicken song, National Fried Chicken Day. And um, people were just like, oh, write a song about crack, knowing that I probably would never do it. Now I predicted that Afton wasn't going to want to actually sing about drugs. And when they played the song for me, I heard that yes, in fact, this was a song riffing on the word crack. <laughs> It 
It was all the other meanings of crack, which is somehow just so afton. Don't step on one. When you walk, you'll break your mom's back. This is a crack. Yeah. Afton also told me about her decision to put some of Backseat Gyno's audio from the video he made about her into the song. Every single video, somebody is like, yo, write a song about crack. What was the combo like when you asked the dude that made that video if you could put his audio, like, mm -hmm. did you did you just DM him? Did you like? Yeah, well at first when we were, when I came in to like listen to this song, I was like, oh my gosh, did you guys see the video? And they were like, no, and I showed them the video and they were like, Whoa. And then I was like, it would kind of be cool to like take the audio from this and put it into the beginning of the clip, but obviously leave out the cuss words and like, so they, he kind of like chopped it up. But um, I did end up DMing him because I didn't know if it was like going to be something I would get in trouble for. So I was like, hey, would you mind having a, you know, your voice <laughs> in the beginning of the crack song? And he was like, get the F. <laughs> That's what he said with a bunch of laughy faces. He was like, I would be honored. <laughs> she even invited him to the video shoot that day. I, I was, was like, like Oh my gosh, I need to message him, see if he wants to come to the video. Well, that's a that's your interesting natural instinct though. I probably would have been like, oh, so you've been like watching this cynically all this time and I would probably just like want to block all these people and never address well, it. Well, what's funny is people were like, why don't you just hit it like in the hidden words, just put crack in there mm. and they would never be able to comment it. And why didn't you? I don't know. <laughs> there was some instinct in there. There was. was like... I don't know what it is. Like, it's weird because I, I, I feel like I feel so confident and like, I'm not doing anything negative. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. Like, c keep them coming because I can take it. I don't know. And also, I think like the average Joe would look at it and say, this is so weird. You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to be like, does this girl actually like do cry? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they would just be like, these people are so strange. So I, I didn't think it was going to hurt me in any way to keep it on there. Um, other than them just keeping com like to keep commenting. Well, you're Teflon, Afton. Like, you really are like, uh, you, I'm more sensitive than that. I would have immediately hidden that and been like, no, I oh cannot. Oh my gosh. So it's, well, um, you have a big internet. I know, and I'm sensitive. My life is just a never-ending yo-yo of, I say, I say too much, people get mad at me, and then I get mad at them, and I'm like, well, I'm just gonna hold this in and hate you from afar. Um, and I'm just like, you, have a, you can roll with it in an interesting way. Thank so, you, thank you. That's cool. But then it was time to shoot the music video, and Afton actually wrote me into being in the video for a split second, so I'm wearing her red cowboy hat, and I'm pumped to be forever immortalized in the Crack Song official music video. And then I was just shooting some behind the scenes and left thinking about some of what Afton had said about how she doesn't mind writing songs about random things. I used to write all love songs, which I love love songs, but also it's like, I'm not in a relationship. I don't really, I, you know, like I'm just kind of, so it's like, I love to sing about it, but I just feel like there's, there's more to life than that. And there's, you know, so there, you can write songs about really anything. And how she just thinks about content so differently than most artists I've ever met. And how her devotion to a quantity of content and engagement being engagement is probably a superpower. Over the course of the last few weeks of kind of knowing Afton, I came away confused, amazed, even inspired by her resilience. For me, the question isn't even, is her content good or bad? It just is. Afton just keeps going, seemingly with a big smile on her face. I really haven't interviewed other artists like her. Cause it's a crap song, you'll get addicted to it. When Afton officially dropped the crack song a few weeks later, the response was overwhelmingly positive, with a little sigh to people that were miffed that she didn't sing about hard drugs. But for the most part, Afton had killed him with kindness. And I would say the crack song is pretty damn catchy and pretty damn clever. And I'd say she handled the whole situation with a little bit of grit and a little bit of grace. Anyway, that's the story of the crack song and how someone took a bad hand that they were dealt by the universe and spun it into something good. And I think there's something we can all learn from that. If you liked the video, I'd love if you gave it a like, or if you're new here, I'd love if you subscribe to the channel. I talk about country music here and kind of gets to do whatever I want, but I'm glad to have you. I've got a Spotify playlist linked down below if you want my current recommendations. I got merch and I will make sure I link Afton's merch as well as the Crack Song music video, which I need y'all to go check out and go see my little cameo in there. Anyway, I love you guys and I'll be back with more country content very soon. Bye.